fight with my wife that she started. She's not here. My wife is OCD, my wife's a clean freak. My house is spotless right now. There are vacuum marks on my carpet. If you went in my house and you messed up a vacuum mark, it'd be your responsibility to replace it. She's passionate. One night I had some friends over at my house hanging out, some of my guy friends and my boys. We were sitting around my table, I was eating some snacks. I was eating some pretzels. And I dropped a pretzel on my wife's floor. Destroyed our home. <laughs> so she disciplined me <coughs> with her eyes. She said into me, which is normally okay, but on this particular occasion, my friends were there. My boys. And they saw my wife. I disciplined me. So I felt the need to show my friends. I wasn't afraid of this woman. And I looked my wife in her disciplined eyes and I reached out and dropped a whole handful of pretzels. Whoa. Turns out that's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. And so did my friends. But they were afraid to laugh. <laughs> they were waiting to see what my wife would do. She didn't see the humor in it. So they left. <laughs> They're no longer my friends. <laughs> True story. And that little thing led to a giant fight. I think anybody who's been in a relationship for any period of time, you probably can understand what it's like to have an insignificant thing turn into a giant fight. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. It happens because we break a rule. See, the Bible says that love does not keep a record of wrongs. <laughs> There's somebody else in here that's honest. Wouldn't that be cool? The problem is we do. If you've ever had an insignificant thing turn into a giant fight, you're just as guilty as me and that lady. <laughs> we keep a record, don't we? Like that night, the pretzel fell. And the list came out. The detailed record of wrongs. Megan and I had been married about six years at the time. We had a lot of problems in our marriage, a lot of things that I won't get into, but we had a lot of problems. We had a lot of things. We weren't doing it right. We had six years worth of mistakes and uh, we hadn't dealt with any of it. And all of a sudden, man, that night, for some reason, it just we started fighting over it. You know, the, the reason that the Bible says love does not keep a record of wrongs is because God knows if love keeps a record, then love will destroy itself. And so that night in my house, as Megan and I began the list, the wrongs in our marriage. We begin to destroy each other. She would list things that I had done, wrongs that I had done, things I had done that hurt her over the six years that we've been together. And every time that she would list one, she would relive that pain and that frustration, that anger. And I begin to list the wrongs that she had done against me in the six years that we've been together. I begin to list those wrongs. And with every wrong I listed, I reminded myself of the pain and the frustration and the anger. And we were convincing ourselves and each other that we did not belong together. We begin to scream at each other and yell and fight like we had never fought as we tore each other apart, as we tore our marriage apart over six years of wrongs. I cussed at my wife at night. I looked at her and told her she was worthless and I was leaving her. I told her she was the problem with my life. And she screamed back at me. And it was over. After hours of fighting, we sat down and don't even know me. It was like, what now? I mean, we, there's no way we can just go back to life as the way it was, right? Not happening. I know how you really feel about me. 
I can't just pretend this didn't happen. And we said, you know, everything in us wants to leave. I remember saying, everything in me wants to leave you. I'm only here because I'm fighting the thing in me that wants to leave. And we begin to talk like that. So, well, if we're going to stay together, and this is how we worded it. We said, if we were going to stay together, we were going to have to learn to fight for our marriage as hard as we had to fall against it. And this is long before fireproof, and long before we were, I, I really don't feel like many Christians are even talking about being honest about this whole thing. And we sat there and said those words that we were going to have to start fighting for our marriage instead of fighting each other. And we begin to talk about what that would look like to fight for it. The Bible says there's help and wisdom in a multitude of counsel. And so we saw a multitude of counselors. <laughs> just, just one won't do. Uh, confess your sin one to another, you can be healed. And so we begin to do that. We begin to find strangers on the street and just grab them and say, hey, we're having problems in our marriage. <laughs> and they would look back at us and go, us too. <laughs> And that's the power of God's word. There's truth in it. Because when you find out that you're not alone, amen, when you find out you're not alone, the shame and the guilt that the enemy puts over you that keeps you sick loses its hold. And you find out that just because you're broken doesn't make you no less the body and he is capable of healing his body. We're not alone. We're in this together. Megan and I begin to fight for our marriage. It's been seven years since the pretzel fell. <laughs> and we're still fighting. Only now we're fighting for our marriage instead of against it. And God is bringing us victories. I wrote this song for her. As I was processing what it meant to fight for her, I wrote this song. I planned to sing it for her on our six year wedding anniversary. I did. We happened to be at, a, at my in-law's house on our six-year wedding anniversary. Not sure what I was doing at my in-law's on my six-year wedding anniversary. That's where we was. So what I did was I sat down on a rusty lounge chair on the back porch, and I sang this song to my wife and told her that she was worth fighting for. Never intended to sing it for anyone else. This was her song. Never thought I would share the pretzel story with anybody else. I've written a bunch of songs for my wife that no one else has ever heard. They're her songs. I've made little CDs for her because I'm the sweetest dude that's ever lived. <laughs> And this was just another one of those songs, but I wound up recording it and, and these guys making this movie down in Georgia asked if they could use it and I told them they had to call my wife and get permission because it was her song and I didn't want to start another fight. <laughs> so they called her and uh, she said yes, true story. And that's how this song ended up in Fireproof. And that's how I've ended up sharing this story every other night of my life for the past six years. <laughs> uh, Every time I sing it, I'm on that back porch. I remember that night, I remember it. And when I sing this song, I go there. I go back to that night when we were fighting, we were screaming. And I go back to that night on that back porch where we committed to fight for our marriage. It would have been awkward if you were all there that night. <laughs> but for the next few minutes as I sing you this song, that's where I am, right here. That's where I am, this time you're welcome to Eavesdrop. <laughs> Love is not a place to come and go as we please. It's a house we enter in and then commit to never leave. So lock the door behind you Throw away the key We'll work it out together Let it bring us to our knees Cause love is a shelter And a raging storm
word they can fall into it but when they're falling out keeping that word man it's hard to do this is but love is a shelter It's worth fighting. 